What is up guys, Jav here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now yesterday saw the launch of the Dawning and we covered all the recipes off yesterday and I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. But in this video today, we're taking a look at the quickest ways to earn the Essence of Dawning, which is a key material you're going to need to bake as many treats as you can this season. Now if you enjoy the video, be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay, let's jump into the video. Now with any seasonal event, there are normally multiple ways to go about getting various materials that you need for each event. Now with this particular event, unfortunately, AFK farming is a thing. So if you have a mask from the previous event or any gear which you can use to lower your power level, then it is still possible to AFK farm. So whilst you're not actually playing the game, you can still be earning material, which will help you next time you log on and are ready to go. As you can see, you've got a common mark there. You can actually get this from your collections if you head on to the armor section and go to leveling. Every class will have this class item here at 21 power. So if you combine that with 750 weapons and any other items of low level and try and get that as low as possible. Now the idea behind this is that it allows us to go into the forges, but by being so low level, it means we will match people of a similar power level. And if they're at that power level, like you, then they are most likely doing the same thing. So the idea here is that we're not impacting other people's play sessions, but it's still allowing us to earn material and you will earn one or two Essence of Dawn per failed run. So it's not the most effective, but it will mean you can earn them whilst you're not actually playing the game. So AFK farming and forges aside, there are still some very effective ways that you can actually farm this material out whilst playing the game. And these come in the form of strikes. If you select them from the director, you will earn between six to eight per run. However, if you choose to use playlist, you can get between 15 and 17 per run. So it's definitely more desirable to jump into the playlist itself. But I will recommend that you do that as a fire team so you can get the times down when it comes to completing those strikes to make it effective as possible. Now I can all hear you in the comment section. Jarv, what about the Lake of Shadows over in the EDZ? Well, you're absolutely right. It's a very fast strike to do and you can choose it from the director as well. So if you have a good team, you could probably do this in between four to five minutes, if not less. If you are able to do that, then most definitely go about doing that. It's definitely a very effective method. So I would say if you can get a full fire team, jump into the playlist. But if you're running solo even, I actually had a few successful runs in the Lake of Shadows this morning to do that as an alternative. And a final call out on a really effective method to get this material is Mayhem. When that comes around in the playlist, those Crucible games go around immensely fast. They'll last no more than four to five minutes and you'll get between 12 and 17 per run. Similar to a Gambit match or even a strike if you choose the playlist. So when that is available, guys, definitely jump into Mayhem and have a bit of fun and earn lots of Essence of Dawning. So there we have it guys, that is a rundown of the most effective play methods to go about getting some Essence of Dawning. So if you've got a bit of spare time or you're popping out to do some last minute Christmas shopping, then AFK farming is a possibility for you. If you have a full fire team, then think about jumping into the playlist and speed running those strikes for some decent drops. However, if you're running solo, then maybe jump into the Lake of Shadows and see if you can get a good team going and speed run that for some quick, effective materials. So there we have it. If you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below. That super helps me out here on the channel and if you're new around here i want to keep up to date with all the latest destiny 2 content then you're in the right place and be sure to hit subscribe as well i'm going to jump back into the game as always guys but i will catch you all again very soon